My name is Faris and this is Animated Anatomy. In this video I will show you in 3D the eye anatomy. Eye is an organ that helps you see different shapes and colors. But two eyes can do more. If both eyes are looking in far distance, the directions of their view will be parallel. If there is an object that is closer to the eyes, the directions of their views will cross and close an angle. If the object gets closer to the eyes, the angle will get bigger and this tells our brain which object is closer and which one is further away. The human eye is an organ that reacts to light and has several purposes. It is located in the orbit, a cavity in the skull. Inside the cavity there are other organs as well, like the lacrimal gland over here. The lacrimal gland produces tears, which then flow into the canals that connect to the lacrimal sac. From that sac, the tears drain through the lacrimal duct into the nose. Humans and most of other organisms have two eyes. And this is not just random. Two eyes allow them a perfect depth perception. A brain can know whether the object is closer or further away. By knowing that the eyes are looking inwards or outwards, if the directions in which eyes are looking are almost parallel, it means that the object is really far away. The human eye can distinguish about 10 million colors and it is possibly capable of detecting a single photon. This also contributes to color differentiation and perception of depth but it has nothing to do with the fact that the human has two eyes. It's actually connected to the type of cells inside of an eye, the rod and cone cells. Now let's get inside of an eye and let's explore the anatomy of it. Well, this what you can see here is the cornea and this is the sclera. This is why the eye is not shaped like a perfect sphere, rather it's a fused two-piece unit, the sclera and the cornea over here. Now you can see that the sclera is white, but the cornea is transparent and it lets the light pass through. But where would the light go further? So the light enters the eye through the cornea, then the pupil, and then through the lens that I'll show you a little bit later. But what is this pupil? Well, that's just an empty space, a dark spot created by the iris around it, this blue thing. But it can be also brown or green. And if exposed to the light, pupil can actually contract. And if there is little light, pupil can actually dilatate to let more light come in. Before we move on to explain how this works, you do know that cats have vertical slit pupils. But did you know that goats have horizontal rectangular pupils? And stingray has crescent pupils. Crocodiles have vertical slit pupils. And cuttlefish has Wii-shaped pupils. And gecko has string of pearls pupils. Humans have round pupils. And the constriction of pupil is accomplished by the circular muscle within the iris. And the dilatation of pupil is accomplished by the radial muscle fibers within the iris. So when we already started talking about the muscles, let's remove the iris and look at this over here. This is supposed to be the ciliary muscle. Well, it is the ciliary muscle. I just wish it was modeled a little bit better. But this over here are the susmosory ligaments that attach to this thing over here, and that's the lens. Now the lens should look nothing like this, but imagine it a little bit more symmetrical and transparent. Since the inner part of the eye is supposed to be dark, that's why I assume also when we remove the iris, we should still see something black, right? This muscle can actually make the lens more or less convex and that way focus on certain objects better. So now I remove these three structures and we can see this really bizarre thing over here and that's the hyaloid canal. You see the hyaloid canal was actually made by the hyaloid artery 
that was a branch of the ophthalmic artery. Its purpose was to supply nutrients to developing lens in the growing fetus. It usually regresses before birth, leaving this hyaloid canal. Now let's remove that also. And here you can see the retina. That's where the cells that I mentioned at the beginning, the cone and rod cells are actually located. And that's where the humans actually see the light. So remember, outside we have the sclera and inside we have the retina. But between these two structures, we have the choroid. And the choroid is actually the vascular layer of the eye containing connective tissue. And it's between retina and sclera. So that was a very broad explanation of anatomy of a human eye. Now let's get into more details and explain you all the parts of an eye.